get loose. K A A. Yeah, you know. I get loose. Galatians 5 1. It was for freedom, he set us free, baby. I get loose. If you know you got that truth, say I'm not afraid, don't take no boots. Get loose. Ever since you got that truth, you and God got a truth. Set aside for shoes. Get loose, get loose, get loose, get loose, get loose, get loose, get loose. So it's in a problem in life. So do you think it's a problem in your life? It's in this. It's in a problem? Yeah, in your life. Of course. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do, you think, um, do you think sin is a problem in your life? In your life? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it happens. Lies is sin. Okay. Sin. Well, sin, very plainly, is the equivalent of death. In all honesty, that's what it is. The fact of the matter is, is when Adam and Eve ate of the fruit of the garden that they were not supposed to, of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the Lord told them that they would die. And while they didn't immediately die, we know what the Lord meant, and he meant that death was coming into the world. And so whenever they ate of that tree, sin entered the world, which is the equivalent of death. And so now we all have to face this fact that we're going to die. So that's first and foremost what sin is. It's death. So that's what sin is. I mean, sin... Is is the is what brought this fallen world to, to where we are today? You know, it explains you know all the the just atrocities that's going on, the genocides and you know just suicide bombings and, and murders and rape and molest molestations and um, just all these atrocities that you see on the news. You know, today is the result of sin. It's the result of man's wickedness, man's depravity, um, because we have you know fallen away from God. Uh, do you think it's a problem in your life? Yeah. Okay. Is sin a problem in your life? Well, no, sin's not a problem in my life because everybody sins when they have a sinful nature, but in the simple fact that I have forgiveness on my side because I have God's salvation. So, therefore, it's not a problem in my life because I've always been back and for forgiveness. Okay. Okay. Do you think it's a problem in your life? No. Okay. Well, sin, um, we all do it. We all have it. Everything is around us is basically sin filled like we're born into sin um and it exists in the world from from the stuff that people talk about in their songs like if you listen to some of the rappers songs like even people who we think are okay they really like glorify themselves and they like just don't give any glory to God, like, oh, I made it because of my strength or, you know, what I had inside of me, but what's inside of you should be Jesus. And and we got, like, most recently, Jay-Z talking about Jesus can't save you, life starts starts when the church ends. I don't, I don't care what he was talking about, but, uh, what? Are you serious? Like, stuff like that, like, just shows that we are sinful people. All right, so do, oh, do you think it's a problem in your life? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, is it a problem in your life? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it a problem in your life? Yeah. About my life? Yeah. Right, right about now. I said, yes, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying to defeat something. I'm trying to earn something at the same time. Yeah. So, it's a struggle. Thanks. 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 Okay. 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 People having sex outside of marriage, the, the only thing, the only sin that you like physically give something of yourself to another person. And like people are having sex, don't really care. Um, it's just so much stuff that you can see. Uh, murders, lying, um, people lie just because. Like I know people who are really good at lying and they'll just do it like that. And there's really no purpose. So, um, it's just all around and it doesn't it doesn't really stop and what happens is the more sin you get involved let's say the more club and the more women the more everything that you get in that's not of God blinds you from God do you think sin um, has any result of the, the way the world is today like do you think there are any effects of sin that you can like physically see what, I mean, what is your definition of sin sin I guess we're pretty much well I guess your definition of sin like um, I'm evidence. Hear, I'm gonna hear from you, my uh, I'll explain that after. <laughs> What's your like? You're based on what you what you do sin. Um, do, do you see any evidence of the, the way that sin has affected this world? I mean, sin is all over the world. It's not it's necessarily it is a sin, but uh -huh. how far would you take it? How far would you let your sin get you into your life? Uh -huh. How far would you let your sin get into your life? Okay. 
Okay, okay. Okay, and do you think that uh, sin has any effect on the world today? Like just looking around, do you think? Yeah. 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 Oh, side. Yeah, definitely. Wolves and everything else. But then there's also, there's physical manifestations of sin. Even now, like even as we're alive, like we look at the epidemics that are going on, we look at rapes and we look at AIDS, we look at murders, we look at all these things, but it goes even further than that. We can't just look upon the outside and think like, wow, that's a lot of sin. Wow, people are in Darfur doing genocide. That's a lot of sin. Oh, human trafficking is going on. That's a lot of sin. But sin creeps into like the crevices of our mind. And if any of us struggle with any thoughts that are not even of the Lord, with any form of lust, any form of just hatred, any form of fear, anything that is not of the Lord. So we have to realize that the physical manifestation of sin is not always actually tangible and visible to us to see, but it truly is like something that can take place within our mind. Okay, so do you think sin has any effect on the world today? <laughs> All the violence. Yeah. All types of right. Killing. Stealing. Stealing. Yes, around diseases and all types of things. Gay. Okay. Does sin have any effect on the world today? Like, do you see any effect that, that sin is Big present? Effects. Sin is present in everybody because they have a sinful nature, because the Adam and started Adam and Eve. So, everybody in the world has sin and does sinful things, but the thing that they don't understand that if they, everybody had gotten that life, then of course you would see sin still, but you would see less of it and it wouldn't be such a problem because everybody would have forgiveness. So do you think sin has any effect on the world today? Like just, just looking around the world, do you think sin has any, any effect on it? It is because the world is filled with sin because that's worldly, worldly stuff like we got to buy shoes and we got to buy clothes and we got to talk a certain way and act a certain way. That's the worldly aspect of life, you dig? So it's more like that's the whole world in general. As a whole, as a whole, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, do you think that, you know what I'm saying, you can see the effects of sin in this world? Like the visible effects of it? Yeah. Like in what way? Kill each other. Yeah. We weren't meant to have to struggle with those things. That's what I think we forget sometimes. Like, we just think like, oh, I'm just going to buck up and I'm going to be strong and I'm not going to go out and have sex. I'm just going to just fight off these these thoughts that I'm having in my head. Or I'm not gonna go out and I'm not gonna fight this person because I'm just gonna fight off these, these thoughts in my head. But the Lord didn't mean for us to be like that. We were not meant to be like that. That is a consequence of Adam and Eve eating of the tree of, of knowledge of good and evil. That wasn't original. That wasn't what the Lord intended for us. We were to live in a world of perfection. We were to be perfect like the Lord. But we chose, we chose to fall. The Bible tells us in the book of James that God will not give us more than what we can bear. But when we are tested and tempted, tried, we go through, we, he says he will provide a way for us to stand up under it. Or in other translations, to escape it. And so the, the difference between us is really that we have been given the transformation power of Christ Jesus through the Holy Spirit that we call salvation. Salvation is the element that God used through His Son Jesus' blood to uh, to reconcile uh, the sinful man or the fallen man Adam back to His uh, glory and grace, God's God's holiness.